Good day, fellow Titans, Hunters, and Warlocks. My name is Telerik, and welcome to Atlas and Armory, a Destiny Crucible Guide. Now, the most common question I get from other players is, Hey, Telerik, I got this gun. Is it any good? Here's a short little guide to see if I can help you answer that question. Now remember when looking at any primary weapon, keep in mind that the weapon is going to fall into one of three or four archer types based on rate of fire and impact. That's your starting point for the type of weapon you just got, and from there we move into whether base stats and perks make this a good weapon or a piece of junk. For this video, we are going to focus on hand cannons. When it comes to hand cannons, the base stat you're going to want to maximize is range, and this applies to any hand cannon. This pretty much is going to force you into picking from one of four options, and here's how I've graded each one. First choice, rifle barrel, A+. Second choice, reinforced barrel, A. Third is small bore at B. And fourth choice is hammer forged, also solid B. Hand cannons are very reliant upon range being a maximized stat to be at their most effective. If you don't have one of the above mentioned range perks, then I'd seriously consider throwing away the weapon. So, let's say you've got a good range perk on the hand cannon. Excellent. Let's look at your sights. There are two sights you really want to see on the weapon, and they are True Sight IS and Sure Shot IS. These two sights give the weapon better aim assist, allowing you to hit those super important headshots. If you don't have either one of these sights, then just pick the one that feels best to you. So let's say you just got a sweet little hand cannon to drop for you and it has rifle barrel and true sight on it. You're off to a great start. But what are the perks you need to keep in mind to make this an awesome weapon? Well, here's my list. First choice, luck in the chamber, A+, outlaw, A+, Hidden Hand, A+, Range Finder, A+. At 5th would be Quick Draw as a solid A, but I would like to note that very few hand cannons can actually come with this perk, so it's very situational upon the weapon you're holding. Number 6, Icarus is a solid A. 7th would be Spray and Play at an A-, and then 8th choice, Army of One with a B+. Going on, we have Third Eye at B+. Life Support at B, Grenadier, B-, minus, Reactive Reload at a C, Hot Swap, Mulligan, Last Resort, and Triple Tap, also solid Cs. There are even more perks that can come on a hand cannon besides these, but they're seriously not even worth mentioning. If your weapon ends up with two horrid perks, but still has a good barrel perk and a good sight, don't throw it away, but do keep your eye open for something a bit better. If you do get a perfect hand cannon, it should look something like this. This is my personal weapon that I use when I play Trials of Osiris. It has the barrel perk I want, the best sights possible in both options, and two A plus perks. But I bet you're saying at this point, Dude, Telerik, you have all the luck! There is no way I can get a hand cannon that good! My answer to that is walk over to the Crucible Quartermaster and look at what he has in stock. Yes. Why yes! A palindrome with an A plus barrel, an A plus sight, an A plus perk and range finder, and what I consider an A minus perk with spray and play. Pretty good if you ask me. Buy it if you need a great hand cannon. Now on a final note, Remember your hand cannon is designed to be a strong weapon at short to medium range, with a rapid time to kill for agile players. The top perks I listed such as Luck in the Chamber, Hidden Hand, Icarus, Quick Draw, and Range Finder help maximize that capability. The other top perks I listed such as Outlaw and Spray and Play are to reduce the weapon's biggest deficiency, its reload speed. The other perks on the list are decent and should not be discounted, but are somewhat situational and just don't give you the best bang for your buck. I hope you found this guide helpful, and as always, my name is Teller, and I hope to see you in the Crucible.